Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today, today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys something that um, is pretty crazy and that's putting it lightly. Um, I have something magnificent to share with you guys. I have not actually seen it or handled it yet, um, but uh, I do know what it is. And uh, it's, uh, it's pretty exciting. This is something that I have added to my own personal collection. As you can see here, um, this is from Polish Custom Knives. So you might be able to guess what it is. They periodically say, hey, have you checked our, our stock? Because they know that I'm hunting for a few things. And this last time, I went on uh, another little hunt after they, uh, they said, hey, check it out. And I found something, oh, just... <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. I couldn't say no to it. So I'm going to link Polish Custom Knives right down below. If you guys haven't checked them out, please do. A absolutely. Some of the greatest stuff, <laughs> especially from the maker that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram. Can we focus at metal underscore complex? Okay. This package is a little heavier than I expected. So I'm wondering if they they just sent me the one thing that I was after. It's just that one thing. It's just a very large Goodness, no, what's this? What? Oh, all right, maybe it's just two things. Okay, so this is, uh... <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna get the giggles. <laughs> this is a Herman, look at that, man, I have, uh... so when you when you get a Herman knife and it's one of the, the special ones, I'm sure you guys have gathered that, it does come with a cool, little box and I have the other one from my old ultra custom um, but this one's uh is it actually in here no no it isn't it's just the silhouette but it, it is a beautiful display box oh boy okay I was gonna say it makes more sense for them to ship that that's why the box was so big it makes more sense for them to ship it in the pouch I'm not gonna show you guys the um <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, man. I've seen the video, but I haven't actually seen the box. Or, the, I'm sorry, the knife itself yet. Okay. This is, right before I open it, this is officially the most extravagant knife in my collection. And uh, one of the craziest knives that I have ever, that I have ever unboxed on this channel to date. Which is saying something, because I have 3,100 uploads. All right, let's do it. Been hunting for a special version of this model for a little bit. Not that they haven't had them, but I was waiting for the one. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. You know what? Let's turn it over because this side, oh, it's a little bit different. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is Black Timascus. Um, oh. Hold on. I'm putting a glove on. I'm putting a glove on. Hang on. Uh, full black Timascus. I do have a um I do have a dragonfly in white Timascus. This variant is black Timascus. God. The two-tone. This is part of the reason why I had to snag this because this front side has some green in there. Look at all the different colors. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Such an amazing thing here. And then we have the full Timascus backspacer. Same thing on the other side, but with slightly different colors. Beautiful. Look at all the oranges and magentas and that pocket clip. And then, of course, you know it's time. <laughs> time to see the blade. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. So... This is special. You might be wondering, is that Damasteel? Is it Damacore? What is it? This is Balbach. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but it's from a company that I was not familiar with. God, that is so beautiful. Look at that pattern. It's from a company that I was not familiar with until I saw this. I have seen many slims. This is a slim. I'm touching it with my hand. I shouldn't be doing that. This is a slim which is, I've wanted one, but I was like, if when I buy a Slim, it's gonna be the Slim, right? 
And I've seen them pop up for, in Timascus, black Timascus, white Timascus, right, et cetera, et cetera, Timascus inlays. And I've seen them pop up in Damacore. I've seen them pop up in Damasteel. And I kept telling myself, I'll wait for the right pattern. And then I saw this. Oh, look at how they did that. That is so beautiful. I've never seen anything like it with those perfect divider lines, which are in and of themselves, those are layers of Damascus. Sorry, there's some chatter upstairs. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at that here. I'm gonna have to zoom in so you can see these layers. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is just stunning. I have no idea how they do this, but I will provide some information on the company, the Balbach, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I'm sure I'm not. The Balbach company. God, the <laughs> disengagement of that lock. Oh, God. <laughs> it's Sting, man. Oh, boy. I have already reviewed the Sting. And the Sting is a fantastic model, right? My first, uh, I've, I, I own a few Hermans now. And my first um, big, like my first major Herman purchase was, I'm going to pull the camera a little bit closer to this. It was uh, the um, or my the acquisition actually because they they actually they gave me that one the uh, the the um, dragonfly and I absolutely love that thing uh, and I, I would get it out but I want to make the focus on this one I absolutely love it and I fell in love with Herman knives um, after handling one I think it was Nick Shabazz who sent me one and I was like this is incredible right now they have this ultra expensive stuff and you can believe me this is insanely expensive it's it's very expensive right but the nice thing about Herman knives is that if you you know there's a lot of people who don't like this real colorful look or like the, the real busyness of the blade and that's completely and totally understandable right um the nice thing is, is that Herman knives they're introductory level stuff, which is still very expensive, but it is hyper competitive with uh, companies like Koenig and Shirogorov, right? We're talking extreme levels of, of quality, not stuff, not something that you can obtain, you know, in the two, three, four, five hundred dollar department of knives. Their entry level stuff is six, seven, eight hundred, depends on the model. Um, and it exhibits all of the same qualities that you can expect from the, you know, hyper exotic variants of these knives. Right, you just don't get like the Balbach or the Damasteel or Damacore or like the you know full Timascus frames, but full titanium and steels like M three ninety eight or M three ninety are absolutely there. Uh, proper heat treatments, incredible cutting geometry, all of that, and that singing flipping action that I've come to expect from these knives. Oh my gosh, this is just outstanding. Oh, it's just it's it's a thing to behold. It's a thing. So I, this front scale absolutely blew me away. I have never seen um, Black Timascus come in this. These interesting, like, sort of cyan or green colors in there. I mean, there's just so much in there. And it's so, there's so much going on. I also love this wavy horizontal texture pattern, right? The polished um, pivot hardware. Um, and, you know, the pocket clip, I, I like that every part of the knife had something interesting, right? There's nothing that's perfectly consistent about any part of the knife except for the blade. The blade has a, an incredibly consistent pattern, which is something that you do not normally see with Damascus. Normally, it's kind of, there's a little bit of a pattern, but it kind of, you know, changes as the blade you know, or the, the, the block that they cut it from, you know, the, the longer it gets, the pattern changes or warps a little bit. Um, and that, that's cool, right? But it was it was equally as impressive on the other end of the spectrum to see a, a combination of compositions, right, that were pattern molded together in a way that was almost perfectly consistent. Obviously, it's not perfectly consistent, but look at this. <laughs> that's just wild, man. And they polished it. Oh, God. It's so good. It's so good. This is just wild. I, I could not be happier with this. I am so glad so glad that I went for it. I saw it sitting there. I was like, man, oh man, I don't know. Should I? <laughs> you guys definitely need to, you definitely need to uh, check out Polish Custom Knives. And right now I, I think they, I have no affiliate thing set up with them. Nothing, right? Um, not that I, you know, would make any difference. I'm only, whether I have an affiliate program set up with a retailer or a company or not, uh, I'm going to tell people exactly what I think. 
And uh, so I won't, I don't make commissions if you go to uh, Polish Custom Knives and buy something. Um, so I'm, I'm telling you, I legitimately enjoy these products. I think they're incredible. If you're a knife, obviously this is not something that, you know, you're, you know, somebody who's just looking for a good dependable pocket knife. Well, that kind of stuff can be found in the $50 territory or the $100 territory up to about $200. I would say there's an argument to be made for spending a little bit more money. But after that, it becomes much more about you know, very specific elements or qualities that you're looking for as a graduated knife enthusiast. And let me tell you something, uh, as somebody who now owns multiple Hermans and has handled, I think about eight at this point, yeah, uh, if you are looking to graduate into this tier, right, if you're sitting there uh, and thinking, I've, I've experienced Rick Hinder knives, I've experienced Chris Reeve knives, Demco knives, Strider knives, right, looking to kind of push upwards and I'm not really sure which direction to go, uh, consider Herman because it is some of the best quality that you can get uh, in that entry level area, you know, anywhere, right? Versus anything. Um, it's absolutely incredible. And if you decide to purchase one of their extreme exotic knives like this, uh, you will also not be disappointed. This is the second one now that I own. God, the action is just perfect. I am so happy with this. <laughs> I am so glad I found this one. Oh. I will definitely do a video on it. I want to study up on the the the, uh, the blade material um, and uh, just kind of look it over and experience it, and then we'll do a um, not a review because I've already reviewed the Slim. Uh, the Slim is an excellent model. It's probably their flagship. I don't know if it's their flagship. I think it, the Slim might be their most most popular model. Um, but uh, I've already reviewed it. If you want to check out that review, you can. So that, that when I do the video, it'll probably be more of just a long overview and show and tell. So, thank you so much, <laughs> Herman uh, Knives and Polish Custom Knives, for bringing this one to my attention, or at least providing, uh, you know, just nudging me in the right direction. They kind of were like, hey, you should check out, you should see the stuff we've got. <laughs> I don't know if they knew that it was this one I'd zero in on, but I, th I think they knew that I would find something. So, anyways, uh, very happy to add this one to the collection. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.